Hey, it's Al, back with Jamie and Faith. We're in Genoa, Nebraska. We got the four-wheeler loaded up. We're actually on our way to South Dakota. Faith, what's the population here? Uh, 859, was it? 859 people. We thought we'd stop. Uh, not sure when we'll ever be back over this way. Take a look at some of these historical buildings. You look at this building over here. It was built in 1915. And then look at the detail work on these old buildings here. I'm gonna zoom in up there. It's pretty cool. It's a cafe now. Hopefully, we can find some old pictures of this place. That one, then I can't oh, yeah. Get it out. That's a nice little town. Yeah, let's look at the south side of the street. Just beautiful buildings here. There's Faith over there. Better run. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, yeah. I love I love these old buildings. I couldn't come through here without stopping for a minute. The thing I love about these small towns is it seems like they're very patriotic, more old fashioned. Something we really love. I love that picture here. Look at that. A really nice new fire department here. Yep. And then across the street, they have the old old building, fire and rescue. I like that uh, corner building there as well. The brickwork is just in amazing condition. That's that's awesome. A lot of those just have tin work around the top. What is it? A steel alloy alarm bell. The little thing in the middle's gone. Oh, is it? Yeah. Alarm bell. Those things are so heavy. Yeah. Yep. It looks There's like their fire truck right there old truck over there in the weeds, Faith. You see oh, it down yeah. there? It's got like a flat front on it. Oh yeah. Beautiful day. Seemed like to be a very nice town. There's like four or five churches that I've seen just riding around here for just a minute. 1880 is when this church was founded. There's the original bell. Definitely a nice town. Yeah, Purples look at that. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful house. Yep. And there's their school, Twin River Titans. And they have a newer part to the right there, but look at this old part here. Let's see if we can catch a date when we're driving by. I'm not seeing a date, but you can tell that's an old school. Oh, yeah. All by the beats go work. All right. Yeah, that's an old one. Well, we're in St. Edward. We just stopped by for a second. Population is 725 people here, and it was established in 1871. That old building down there. 1901 on that one. I love the pizza work on, huh? this, on this building. The oh, yeah. There, that is just Smith beautiful. National Bank. Yeah, this is a this is a really nice building here. I'm standing a little close to it to film it, but get all the old tin work up there. Tin and lead. The old shingles. I've worked on quite a few of those like that. Yep, that's cedar shake shingles, Faith. Yeah. You can I tell. Look to it. Yep, yep. You can tell there used to be a building right there. Yep. Wonder what it was. This one looks pretty old here. I'm gonna back up and get a shot of it. Club, this one says 1901 on the top as well. Looks like, at least from here. Now, I'm sure this has been stuccoed and redone over the years. It was probably a pretty amazing uh, brick building. In Hasselback is what I thought it was. Hasselbouch, I don't know. Maybe we can find an old picture of this one. It's definitely the biggest building, most elaborate one around here that I've seen. It's an old brick road there, pavers. Some people call them cobblestones. It's been a long time since I came through here. I've always liked this barn. Yep, the last time I came through, I noticed that the roof was sagging just a little bit. It was still very solid, pretty, you know, pretty solid looking. Yeah, it's, it's about gone completely now. That's sad. That is sad. 
and it'll be completely on the ground next time we're ever through here. Look at that church face. Oh, wow. Extremely tall church. Yeah. Yep, what town is this? Oh. Look, there's the old main street there. Don't have time to really explore here. This Albion. is Albion. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can kind of look on the map, see the route we're taking. We're definitely going the long way, as usual, right? Fine, though. Longer way is the prettier way. Yep, for sure. We're passing through Elgin, Nebraska. They got a population of 770 people. These old buildings, you can see a lot of the old uh, advertisements and signs on there. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around and go back uh, through the other way, show you both sides of the road. Just love these old buildings. Village Craftsman. It's an interesting sign. <laughs> oh man. That's neat. Look at that up there. Elgin, Nebraska. You got a picture of a cabin, some homesteaders. 1889. I guess uh, to 18, uh, 1989 was our 100 year celebration. that bank right there it's an old bank all right well just wanted to show you a little bit of the town main road we're taking cuts right through the center of town we were just going through Stewart Nebraska and we saw this uh, old car lot out here Roy's Auto and I uh, had to stop film a couple of these cars I'm not sure what kind of car this is y'all if, if you recognize any of the vehicles if I'm not sure what they are, please leave it in the comments below. Let's see. It's already 800. There's a better shot of this one from the front. See if I can get a good shot. It's a Cadillac. So it says on the sign that uh, they sell repairable vehicles salvage and body repair there's a couple of more over here i'm gonna go take a look at well there's another couple of uh, trucks sitting here it's got a lot of stuff out here it's a salvage yard that goes way back this is just what's out on the highway front most of it is behind a fenced in area over there there's faith going to video she has her own uh, photo collection of all the stuff we find. What now? Those cars sure are neat. Oh yeah. I love looking at the old cars. Uh-huh, there's like an old tanker truck wow. over there. Yep. And I'm gonna walk up and look at these. These are pretty close to the road here. It's an old Chevrolet. Looks like it's got a, that's a 1972 tag on it. I thought it was older than that, but shoot, that's over 50 years. Chevrolet 6100. Oh, the door's open on this one here. What's that say, Windsor? Yep. That's a Chrysler. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this car. And then there's an old Dodge here. It says it's a Charger Daytona. Charger Daytona. Guys, if you recognize any of these cars or you know anything about them, be sure to let me know. Now, what'd you say about this Charger, Faith? It, to me, it doesn't really look like a Charger. Well, you're used Obviously, to the, yeah, yeah uh-huh. The interior, like all the cloth, is still in great shape in here. The keys in the ignition. The Let's see. dash ain't too bad. Yep. This door's locked anyway. Yeah, I can't really, uh... Can't really make it out the best because of the glare, but yeah, she's right. The door panels. Oh, this is a solid good. car, guys. This they will sell this car. Anybody's interested in them, I'm sure they'll sell them. It says rebuildable cars. So, yep. all right. It's a very nice car. Well, 
my old truck cleaned up pretty good. We actually, actually washed it. It don't look too bad now, does it, Faith? No, it don't. That's hard to believe. That's a 97 model. It's crazy that I can get an antique tag on it now. Well, we saw this uh, look like maybe an abandoned school. Down this side of the building, it's just all windows. Doesn't it look like an old school, Faith? Yeah. We're in the middle of nowhere, y'all. Like, there's nothing around for miles and miles. Hopefully, we don't get chiggers. Happened to me last time oh, we yeah, went exploring. Found the chalkboard. Really? Yep. I spotted it going down the highway and I did a U turn real quick. Oh, wow, look. Double doors here on the front. Oh, 2001. 8, 12, yep. 2001. This floor is pretty bad. You got to be careful. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, look down that wall there. A student, 1916. <laughs> well, that's a first. I went straight through. <laughs> this floor is pretty bad. You got to be careful. I've never seen that happen before. Yeah, I've never. I don't know. Something up there is fussing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, yeah, there's an old chalkboard there. Yeah, I've never fallen through. I wouldn't have even stepped on this if it had a basement. I always, if there's holes in the floor, right. I look through and I make sure, you know, because it, you know, it wasn't too bad of a drop. A couple of feet. Sammy was here. 8 8 of 94 at 9 p.m. That's cool. Where's that? Oh, right there. Right here. Look at that, 1994. Somebody Goodness. says 1916 here. Student, 1916. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, she was a student. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're, she was a relative of... win here or something you're gonna laugh at me all day y'all she is gonna laugh off and on all day she's just gonna randomly start laughing <laughs> i know it yep <laughs> i don't blame her yeah this side here is about gone the roof is pretty bad faith i don't want you walking in this side there's an old uh, refrigerator i was kind of curious to see what it was i'm gonna stay on this side of the roof not going over there. It's dented in. <laughs> All right. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna look it up and see. Maybe I can find something online. I don't have as much success on the schools that are out in the county like this, but uh, you never know. That was a that was a neat one, wasn't it? Even yeah. if I, I don't know what that animal was, <laughs> but uh, even if I fell through the floor, you did fall. Through the floor. I've got stuff all in my shoes I took now. I a picture of your feet holes. That yep. Was so <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> oh man! All right, we got a little ways to go yet. Spotted this old building on the side of the road. It kind of looks like an old general store or something. Not really sure. I bet it is. Yeah, there's no other buildings around it. Uh-uh, no trespassing. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. You can see that was an old storefront for sure. We are leaving Nebraska and coming into South Dakota. And there's a sign for it. All right, well, we wanted to get a, a picture by the uh, South Dakota sign. And there it is right there. Welcome to South Dakota. Yep, that's awesome, finally made it. Yep. And it's kind of neat, look at the background. Right over the border, there's some uh, some kind of abandoned building right there. Probably an old barn, but I'm sure it was a home site at one time. All right, Deep are y'all? Oh yes, yeah, beautiful. Y'all ready to go? Yep. 
pulled off the road. I'm not really sure how you say it. I think it's Cologne. It's C-O-L-O-M-E, Nebraska. Look at that old, uh, old car on the sign right there. That's kind of neat, wasn't it? Not much to this town. Floor covering store. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. It's an old bank building. Still used. 1905, it says it was established. They have a skating rink over here. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yep. Veterans Memorial Building. That's older. Yep. I think they just kind of went over the brick. Some old uh, houses in town here. I saw this uh, look like a school building to me. I wanted to see what it was. Oh, it's got a cross on it. That's oh, a church. Right, a church. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Okay. There's there the is. there's the cornerstone right there. 1909. All right. What is 1909 to 1924. All the uh, roads in this town are gravel. All right, just wanted to pull off and see. You never know what you're gonna find in these little towns. Another church old. Yeah, it's definitely an old building. Grain Coal Hogs. All of a sudden, we're in a hell, a hell storm. Man, you just never know, do you? It was, weather was looking pretty good, and then all of a sudden, well, at least the hail's let up. It looks like it's the Navy clear Yeah, we slowed down on it a lot, that's for sure. If we have to pull over, we certainly will. Yeah. Definitely a lot different scenery, getting into South Dakota a little bit. It's really beautiful out here. Stop down a dirt road for a few minutes, stretch our legs. Way off in the distance, grain elevator. Boy, my allergies are terrible. You wanna finish the trip on the four-wheeler? Oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yep, no, all right, let's hop back in. We're in a little town called Witt, South Dakota. And this town uh, used to be a good size but I think they're down to 40 or 50 residents. It used to be uh, along a railroad. And I think back in the 30s or 40s, they, uh, I think it was the 30s, they moved the railroad. It was about a, two miles north of here. And they ended up moving the town two miles south. A lot of these buildings were relocated. And then, uh, after they did all that, a few years later, the railroad just completely rerouted away from this area. So the town just dried up. There's a lot of old buildings, abandoned houses around here. Well, the town got together and what they decided to do was they built one large building on Main Street that would house a grocery store, a bank, hardware store, and a post office. Now the grocery store over there, you can see it down on the corner. The grocery store, the roof is completely, I think it's that one that the roof's falling in on. It could be the bank on the other end, but it's pretty much all boarded up. Just the local bar now here, but these were built in the thirties. Couldn't imagine moving, getting together with everybody and moving your houses and, and moving a town just to have uh, the railroad to leave anyway. Yep, here's another old building. General store, maybe? I'm not sure. Could have been anything. Yep. See right through it. Oh, yeah. He won't be standing too much longer. I mean, it's pretty bad shape. A lot of houses are abandoned here in town. Old cars here. It's like an old LTD or something there in the... Oh, Lord. Yeah, that's an old Ford. Another uh, pickup. Old square body Chevrolet. It was really popular now. 
Another classic truck over there behind the building. Another abandoned house, holes all in the roof. Another storefront right there. Yeah, it's kind of out in the middle of middle of nowhere here. Old grain elevator. This should be the old town site. It's a couple of miles north. And uh, there's a cemetery out there where the church used to be. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, there's there's a house there. I'm not seeing any markers. Yeah, there's a few crosses out there. We're gonna, it's quite a walk. I'm not gonna drive my truck out through here. We made it up to the old town site and it appears like that's the last remaining structure from where the town was. I'm gonna walk out here and check the cemetery out. Might walk down there and look in that house as well. Somebody's recently mowed this. There's a stone over here. Yep, it's a very old gate. You can tell the uh, the style of this looks like a lot of the houses that I filmed from around 1900 to maybe 1920. Hopefully, yep. Hopefully, we can read these. Father, it says, 1870. 1877 to 1979. This one's really hard for me to read. We got uh, rain that came through here uh, earlier. Henry, tap. Yep. Tape. 1870 to 1932. Wow, so 1877 to 1979. So she was just two years or so shy of 100 years old. Can you imagine the changes? Faith, 1879 to the 1970s. Can you imagine the changes that she saw in her life? A lot. What do you have there, World War II veteran? Gloria Jean or, White, DN U.S. Navy. Okay, Vietnam. no, it's not a World War II veteran, but he, she is a Vietnam veteran. It looked like my great granddaddy's marker. That's why I thought that at first. He was a World War II veteran. This one, Sergeant U.S. Uh, Sergeant U.S. Army Air Forces, World War II. So he was 89, 89 years old. Well, Faith, we weren't really sure if we were even supposed to, to walk out here, but if we saw it was a public cemetery. We parked way out in the distance and we jogged it at least halfway up here. But I'm gonna go down and I think we should go down and look at that house. Oh yeah, for sure. On Google Earth, I saw this place and really had to come and check it out. There's some old uh, footings as well, some buildings, but the grass has grown up so high I can't see them. I'm not gonna be out here long. We've still got three or four hours, I'd say. Man. In the window here. Old furniture. Trim there. Let's see. Aunt Sue's French dry cleaner. What'd you find? Shastika Art Department. This house hasn't been lived in in years and years. Hey, Faith, there's a book right here. Right at the front gate. So it's a 1967 book. Yep. Look at that metal playhouse right there. Oh, I used to have one like that when I was a kid. Being real careful. A lot of animals, I'm sure, have lived in this house. All right, well, don't have real long to be here. 
remnants of an old radio, maybe. Still got a shirt hanging in the closet. Well, that was neat to be able to go in there. No telling how many years. Uh, we found dates. What was that book again, Faye? 67. Yeah, 67 was the newest date. We found some earlier than that. So, say nobody's lived in that house in 50 plus years at least. All right, you ready for the jog back to the truck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice to break it up, isn't it? Get close to the Badlands, we're cutting through. This is the main road that they used to take to Rapid City before I-90 was put through. A lot of little towns and businesses are gone now. I was here last year and I filmed, uh, went through the Badlands and I filmed the area where you could see some of the uh, scenes from Dances with Wolves. And these are those peaks from the south side. It's not gonna look the same from this side, sure. Definitely beautiful. This is the bumpiest road. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't really film on this road. We're coming up to a little town called Scenic, South Dakota. It's just outside of Rapid City, a little ways, kind of right at the edge of the uh, Badlands. And uh, this used to be on the main road that led into the Black Hills, into Rapid City. And it's pretty much been a ghost town for a while. I heard that someone purchased the entire town. Not much has been done with it. You can tell, look at these old buildings. Oh, that was a jail. Yep. Oh look gosh. at that, that's neat. Look at that, 1906 scenic. Look at all the skulls up there. Yeah, you can see this old building here. It says, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If we don't have it, it isn't a must. Huh. Old wagon wheels up there. A lot of old buildings here in town. That one's no, no trespassing. There's Faith taking pictures for her Instagram page. Yeah. I'm gonna go over to this little brick building real quick. Yeah. And then. Like a jail type thing over there. Yeah. They, they're doing something with this building. You know, this is very old, but you can tell somebody's recently trying to do something with it. Man, this is a it's very old town. It's amazing how a railroad can change paths and they can put a highway through and it just completely kills the town. It looks like an old school building over here, possibly. Anytime I see them shaped like that with windows down one side, it's usually a school. I tried to look up some stats on the town and information, I'll have to put it in the video. Uh, we just don't have any internet out here. Our phone service is bad, believe it or not. What did you do, Faith? They finally got you. They did, but I can't tell. It's a secret. You can't tell? Uh-uh. Have to wait for the newspaper to come out? Exactly. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah, it looks like an old stone jail. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is neat. This one, like, legit has a... Oh, wow. Ceiling, it's all stone, every bit of it. I just wonder how long that this can stand uh, like this. You know, 
till this roof starts coming in. I see it's cracked pretty bad over by that window. There's there's two cells here. That one still has the door on it. When I was a little kid, we went to the zoo and we have a picture of me. I was bawling my eyes out because they they put my mother in a jail cell. You know, it was one of those little pretend jail cells that and I thought they were seriously locked her up. Is that sign. Old cot, yeah. It's oh, got yeah. A, a newer kind of pillow on it. I wonder if somebody slept in here. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. You know? <laughs> if I had a padlock, I could literally lock you. I could literally lock her in here. And if nobody came to check on her, I mean, she you'd be in here until somebody came to let you out. And I couldn't get out that. Uh-uh, no way. <laughs> All right, let me see. This is so cool. What's to the left? It's a little closet. Well, it's got a ladder on it, but... Yeah, that, that... Gotta see. It's got like a little... What is it? Let's well, see. it's just a solid plate there. Um, It's sure enough a ladder, oh. but I don't know how to get... Oh, look. I don't know that that's a ladder no, face. That was where a heater went or something. Yep. Well, that's definitely a chimney vent. Yeah. And that is just probably boards where they put shelves yeah. across or something. That's my yeah. Guess. I can't believe they still have this where it'll lock. This one doesn't have the door on it, but it's got these huge pins in it. Yeah, man, that's to a... hold it. I like this door. This is cool. Yep. You can't but, shut it. No, it's just being held up by a piece of uh, rebar right now. All right. Well, I wish we could have found more on this. There's Jamie. What do you think about this town? Oh, it's cool. It's awesome, isn't it? Hey, it is. yeah, come in here. I haven't been in here yet. Okay. Oh my gosh! Look, it still it still has it where you can lock. I told uh, I told lock. them on the camera if I had a master lock or something, I could just yeah <laughs> lock her up. And even left you a cover of mattress or something. Yeah, like a, a pillow. Well, across the street, it says Tatanka Trading. Ow. This looks to be an old church. Tatankas. And then over over there, you can see there's another abandoned house. And this is the part of the Badlands right there. Take a look at this image. Look how white the Badlands look from the satellite. They're just a lot of sand. So here's a closer look. So it says it was uh, built 1920, and it was a church. It's for sale now, so somebody tried to make it a business, make a go of it. This is just such a remote area, I can't imagine anything uh, surviving out here. Right here. Faith said there used to be two buildings right out here. There was a lot of buildings in this town at one time, from what I understand. Somebody's moved in a double-wide house trailer. Yep. Yep, that's what I was saying a minute ago. That. Yep. Something caught Faith's eye. She wants to show me over here. What is it? You can literally get inside this. What? This was just sitting here. Oh. Like this. And there's. This was like a heater or like a, a furnace or something. Because there's like two big metal poles that are sticking up yeah a uh, bunch of people have been in there and that's an old Mountain Dew can her mellow yellow can back in there let's see at least at least it looks like it from here yeah yeah I ain't crawling in there <laughs> yep I don't know. get my camera or my flashlight uh-huh yeah, Jamie brought the truck. A lot of trash laying around here, I've noticed. That's one thing about being in Nebraska. I've noticed there's not much trash at all anywhere. And uh, then when I go down to Mississippi, it's, all the roads are just littered and all the sides of the roads are terrible. There's the Creston Dinosaur. We're gonna, we're gonna pull over and film it. 
Let's see. Oh, they've got it gated. Oh, no. No trespassing. Well, they've gated this off since I was here. Uh, I wasn't doing YouTube videos. But I wanted to uh, share this with you. Internet's not working too well, but... Uh, I'm thankful for the zoom, I can tell you that. I was hoping to be able to walk up to it and film it. It's got a crack right there. This dinosaur, they believe it to be the first roadside dinosaur attraction in the United States. It was built in the early 30s, and uh, there was a town called Creston that was here. Back when it was built, a lot of people still traveled by train. And there was a shop out here. The owner, wanted some kind of attraction, something to get people's attention. I think this was the last stop before you get to Rapid City. Uh, if you want to see where it's at, go to your uh, Google Maps and type in Creston Dinosaur. I believe it'll find it. If not, I'll show you, uh, I'm gonna show you this image. You can kind of see where it is. But anyway, uh, there was a train bridge out there and an old bridge, road bridge as well. But uh, over the years, they put in I-90, I think in 1980. Uh, the store shut down years before that, I believe. They, I saw on a website, they said this is the world's loneliest dinosaur. It's private property now, and I guess they don't want anybody going out there to it. Honestly, uh, it's probably to protect it because vandals would probably climb all over it. A man saw this in the 30s coming through to Rapid City and he got an idea to build a dinosaur park. And he built one in the late 30s in Rapid City, and it's still a very popular destination. The late 90s, the college uh, kids came out, and they worked on it, and they put this brace under his neck. I forget if they said it was 50 or 70 feet long, something else, but it's the last thing that remains of the town. They built it out of scrap metal, wood, and uh, plaster of Paris is what they said, so. Must have done a good job on it. All right, well, we're losing daylight now. We've been driving all day. We're gonna head on to the hotel. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We're excited about the week to come. We're gonna explore a lot on the four-wheeler. We've never had a four-wheeler to explore the Black Hills and go into Wyoming. Got a lot of cool sites we're gonna check out. If you like the video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, everybody.